What is going on guys, I'm Crazy Pickle and welcome back to another Skyforge video. Finally, we got a new class named Bounty Hunter. Took them a year or so to make one, but hey, better than nothing, right? Bounty Hunter was released on June 2nd for PC, June 3rd and 4th for PlayStation and Xbox. But this is just for the purchase. In about two weeks or so from the release date, this class should be available for the rest of the players, where you can use your Spark of Transformation to unlock it should be around 35,000 sparks. And this is my honest review for this class. So after playing this class for a total of 10 days after release, there is still some stuff could be improved. Damage buff to certain abilities we got recently only good for doing regular missions, mostly solo in divine form or not, would depend on the mission. But I still think it is too slow. What could we improve? Let's start with the basic attack. Instead of reloading after each shot, I think would be good to have three charges that we can use in a row without reloading. When all three charges are used, then class reload to get three charges back. I think that would be a really good idea. Also, if basic attack uses companion attack, that would be really, really good as well. Now, let's talk about ammo that drops when you use dirty work ability or finishing strike. In general, I don't think there is a place for that feature. I would prefer not to have it at all. If ammo will be removed, then of course cooldowns on shields and ultimate ability definitely needs to be reduced. Especially dangerous buff ability, duration has to be increased. But if ammo stays, which definitely will, first of all, it is really hard to see where it dropped, especially in a group of 10 people when there is a lot going on but also it drops far away. The only thing that ammo gives is reducing cooldown on ultimate ability, increasing duration of your buff, especially dangerous, and reducing cooldown on your shield ages of the bounty hunter. Well, it doesn't really work due to how terrible ammo drops, and a lot of time you can get same kind few times in a row. Basically, there are two kinds, ammo rounds and energy cells. Round only works for especially dangerous buff and ages of the bounty hunter, which is your shield. Energy cells work for your ultimate ability. When you get 5 or 6 times in a row ammo rounds but no energy cells, feels really annoying when you really want damn energy cells or vice versa. How this can be fixed or changed? Well, best option would be to make companion pull ammo to you, that way you don't have to run far away to pick it up. And instead of making drop random, make it drops both no matter what. One round and one energy cells at all times. You only have two ways to get that ammo, dirty work ability and finishing strike like I mentioned earlier. Dirty work you have 12% chance to proc when you crit using your basic attack. But using normal way that ability has 20 seconds cooldown. Like really? And even though it says 12% chance, it doesn't feel like a 12% chance. I can proc eruption on the fire starter a lot more with 2% chance from a basic attack that dirty work on a bounty hunter. Doesn't really make sense at all. And this again brings us to this feature. One shot and then reload. But also it only when you crit, it has a 12% chance. So that's a little that that little trick right there, that critical damage, you have to do the damn critical damage in order to have that 12% chance. Ridiculous. I would say remove damn crit part and leave just 12% chance. And also make some other abilities to have a chance to knock ammo out of the enemies. Moving on, let's talk about protection for this class. You only have Ages of the Bounty Hunter ability that reduces amount of damage you receive by 90% for 7 seconds. On paper, it sounds good, right? Well, you have 1 minute and 30 seconds cooldown. Yes, you can reduce that with the ammo. And we're coming back to the ammo again. Ammo rounds by 10 seconds for each round. Total rounds or energy cells, you can have up to 8 stacks. Pretty good. Okay, so if you have 8 rounds and then you use your shield, it is 80 seconds or 1 minute and 20 seconds reduction cooldown of your shield will be 10 seconds. Great. But wait, ammo drops and how it drops is terrible. Also, you cannot even use this shield when you get stunned or frozen or any kind of control abilities. Duration, in my opinion, needs to be increased to at least 10 to 12 seconds would be really good. If you have any other suggestion, please leave it in the comment section down below. But also, make that you can use that shield when you're already under stun or frozen. 
same way as a cryomancer's. With a high pace combat system, there is a little to no time to run around like a freaking chicken, pick up ammo or energy cells, just because you need it. Especially in PvP, like you can get sidetracked to go and pick up your damn ammo in order to reduce cooldown of your stupid shield. There should be a better way to make that work for both PvP and PvE. And if anybody have a really good suggestion for it, please comment section down below. Let's go. Next, damage output. Even after recent buff, it is still not enough to make this class playable for big stuff like Avatar or Distortions or even Nightmares, on my opinion. I understand there is no special weapon yet or even bonus from Invasion Atlas. But look at the Firestarter. Even without Atlas bonus and special weapon, that doesn't really give anything special to the class to do big damage. Who are you gonna pick first? Exactly, Firestarter. So, Bounty Hunter definitely need another good buff damage-wise. Also, since it is basically melee class with a shotgun, there is no point of being in range. Yes, they call it a mid-range class, but doesn't make any damn sense because you have to be up close basically all the time. I mean, you can be a little bit of range, but when you have to use your duty work ability, you have to be within 3 meters from the target to get that attack and get your ammo out. One last thing is a finishing strike. Reaction time after you click the button to use it is really, really bad. It's like you need to spam it to make your character actually react for it. And I think this is all comes down to a global cooldown. If you're holding down your basic attack, for example, or any other ability in that case, and then trying to use finishing strike, it's just not reacting at all because of the damn global cooldown. I would say, please, remove global cooldown. I have nothing against Final Fantasy XIV. I don't need a global cooldown of my abilities in Skyforge. When your game is an action top target combat system, and this is just PvE problems, and I'm sure a lot of other players can add some stuff to this. Moving on to the PvP. This class has nothing to even try to compete against other classes. Seems like they made this class strictly for PvE. There is no way to get up close to range classes really fast to start dealing damage because all of the range classes have range of 29 meters. Firestarter fireballs you can even launch I think even farther than that. How are you supposed to fight against classes with 29 meters range when you have only 19? Please tell me or show me or anything that prove prove me that I'm that there is a way to do it. Anyway, what could be changed to fix this? First, I heard some players saying to make duty work as a jump towards target, hit them and stun them for a short period of time, which is a really, really good suggestion. But in that case, you guys either gonna have to increase range for this class or range for that ability. So you can be 25, 29 meters away from the target and only can use dirty work ability to get up close and then do damage. Since it is a PvP we're talking about, shield that I was talking about earlier would definitely need that change, that you can use it while you stunned or frozen as well as increasing duration of it. Now, why ammo will be a big problem in PvP, meaning that you're basically never gonna be able to get it or even pick it up to reduce cooldown of your shield or ultimate ability. You cannot protect yourself, class is very slow, basically no range whatsoever in a high pace mode, especially when you're only going against classes like Firestarters, Outlaws, Soundweavers, Paladins and Revenants. Well, Paladins and Revenants, yes, they're melee, but they're dealing way bigger damage than a bounty hunter. I would also add a small feature to the sticky bombs, which would be a stun for a small period of time, like 2 seconds or so, for both PvE and PvP. It would stun main target and enemies in the radius of the explosion. And last but not least is ultimate ability. Damage wise is still weak and is really, really slow. Now, increase damage and make it that you cannot shoot without a cooldown. Maybe even make explosion bounce enemies back or something like that. This is what I have to say so far. If some of you have anything else to add, please feel free to comment down below. My verdict for this class from scale 1 to 10 for now 
Unfortunately, I'm giving four. I like the idea of this class and I want this class to be good and valuable, but the way this class works right now, it's just a disappointment. I have to say it, but it is. It needs a lot of work and small changes. The only way this class succeeds if devs will listen to the community and do proper adjustments. That way this class won't be forgotten like some others. That would be all. If you like this video, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and activate notification bell that you won't miss when I post new video or go in live. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord server, links in the description. Until the next time, take care.